kingdom has become big business. And I'm tired of sitting on the periphery as the wife of the brother to the king. The one who is king has been compromised already. And my husband can become king. Listen, set the machinery in motion and scheme your way through the throne. It is for the family, not for me, not for you either. Think about it. Listen, I don't need to tell you all that time is money. Oh yes, time is money. As we speak, my co-ballers are waiting for me out there because we need to shut somewhere down. So what am I trying to say? I want the agenda of this meeting to be fast and brief. In fact, let's visit it immediately. Leonard, let this be the last time you will ever speak before me if I have not given you the permission to do so. Why? I will live in the barracks. Leo, shut up and sit down. Your father called for this meeting, and I expect you to be as calm as everyone else. Let allow him to tell us his agenda. All right, Sharon. Oh, sorry. All right, Mom. Let me take a chill pill. It's all good. We'll just make it snap in the ball as I'm waiting. <clears throat> well. The agenda for this meeting is the restoration of peace in this family. It has become glaring to even outsiders that we lack synergy as a family. And to me, that is not good for us at all. Good. We lack peace. No synergy, as you said. There will be no peace. Yes, there is no peace in this palace because you took what rightfully belongs to me. I was handling part of your business and trust me, I was doing great. All of a sudden, my office was hijacked and given to a total stranger. I will shoot that manager. I promise. That was because you were at the verge of running my company down. Leonard, I know what I went through to establish the business. And I would be a fool to allow a young man who cannot even take care of himself to run my business down. Never! Listen, Pop. Listen and listen real good. There will be no peace in this palace until you give me back my position. I am a prince, so no one, I repeat, no one will take my position. Oh, what? What do you think you can do, Leonard? You know what? I want you out of this meeting, this minute. Why? You want him out of this meeting because he said his mind? Now nah, sit down, you're not going anywhere. I beg your pardon? What did you just say? Be very careful with the kind of words you use while addressing my brother. He is not just the head of this family. He is the king of Enuago. And at all times, his word is law. And you, young man, the king just gave you an order. That he wants you out of his presence. And I'm giving you just seven seconds to obey that order. Or you are going to discover why even deadly masquerades will always come and bow to the king. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Oga, okay, listen. I beat Elder. Three. It's not like I'm running away. I'll be right back. Two. See your all in it. Sharon, you better find time and talk to your son. One more time, he has ruined a meeting that I called. Find time and talk sense to him because I don't want to lose it. You see, all this you can go against my son. Hmm? All your evil agenda will be for you. Kolo Kwan. My uncle, I... I'm sorry for what happened here. I'll talk to my brother. Sincerely, Henry, you really need to talk to them. 
What happened here just now is not good for the family. I'll talk to him. Ah. Leo, does it mean you cannot help yourself? You are the fool that needs help. <clears throat> Get out of my face. What is wrong with you? A young man, I said, what is wrong with you? How many times have I warned you not to take this substance? And here you are, doing the same thing. You want me to stay off this substance? As who? Who are you to warn me? Who are you to tell me what to do? This is my life. And I will always leave it the way I didn't fit. So take your useless advice elsewhere. Get out of my face. What? Are you crazy or so? You heard me loud and clear. Are you mad? Are you crazy? Leo, have you forgotten you're talking to your elder brother? Oh. Elder brother, my foot. Does this my elder brother realize that this is my life? I choose what to do. Since you conspired with dad and ripped me off my position, have I asked you for anything? Have I? Huh? Listen. <coughs> Let me warn you. Let this be the very last time you will come to my face with your useless advices. Now, get lost. Just, my friend, get out of this place. Get out! Get out! Mind your business. Get out. Idiot. Who are you to tell me how to live my life? Animal. Who are those urchins moping at me? Come here. Come here! What are you moping at? Do I look like Father Christmas? Come here. Kneel down. Fast. Kneel down, hands up, close your eyes. Fast! You guys will be here till tomorrow. If you ask me, I will say the king did the right thing by stripping him of his managerial position. He is a drug addict. How can a drug addict manage a business? How? My problem is the mother. She seems to be comfortable with whatever he does. Most times I wonder why a woman will see her child going astray and will not call him to order. Are you sure she's not into drugs equally? Really? I mean, you have any reason to believe she could equally be an, a drug addict? Her attitude towards her children shows everything. Don't you think so? Honestly, I am trying very hard to understand you. Why are you making a case out of nothing? Nothing? You listened to all I said and you came up with the conclusion that it is nothing? Why are you like this, mother? Harry, what is your problem? I do not have a problem. If there's anyone who has a problem here, it's Leo who is trying to destroy his life. So what do you want me to do? Mother, I have asked Leo to stop indulging in hard drugs. If not for anything, for his own life, it would destroy him. The government banned these drugs because it is not good for the body. It is destructive. Mother, these drugs do not only render one useless, it kills. And that is what you should make Leo understand. Henry, 
you are very stupid to sit before me and call my son useless. You know what? I want to be left alone. I am not in the right frame of mind right now, please. Nala, what, I, are, you, are you saying that you are comfortable with what he does? I just said something now, Henry. I want to be left alone. I need a son who will challenge whatever needs to be challenged in this palace. Not one who will tolerate everything. I understand where you're coming from, mother. And I'll say this to you right now, mother. Peace is what we need. Peace is the only thing that can give us the respect we deserve as the first family in this land. Henry, I was very emphatic when I told you I wanted to be left alone. Please, take your useless preaching of peace elsewhere. Please. Stella, you were there in the meeting. You saw how I commanded the useless boy and his mother. Didn't you see how they obeyed me without saying a word? Doesn't, doesn't that make you understand that I am the one in charge? In charge of what, if I may ask? Everything! Oh, please give me and give me a break. Listen, our target should be how to capitalize on the information at our disposal and take over the kingdom and not commanding a useless woman and her useless son. Wait a minute, Stella. What exactly do you want me to do? I should kill my only brother and then declare myself king? It is not that easy. It is not easy like that. And you know it yourself. Damien, you are the one that saved your father. Uh -huh. You are the one he had wanted to succeed him. Listen, you are the one that understands the tradition of this land. Let me ask you, your brother is so-called king. Are you not the one that guides him in all the rituals he must perform at intervals as king? That's true. You see what I mean? He came back from abroad and became the king because he is your elder brother. Damien, you must rise up and make the elders understand that he is a novice. He doesn't know anything. Listen to me. I am going to plead with you one more time, Stella. Allow me to handle this because I know this process more than you. Yes, I am very bitter that my brother came from nowhere, skilled me out and became the king. But I am strategizing on how I would take the throne back from him. And I'm telling you as your wife that I'm not seeing that strategy. That useless woman that cannot train her children is still there parading herself as the queen. Oh, and it pains me greatly. I want it to stop. At once. Mom, Dad, is everything all right? Everything is all right, my son. I don't think so. How do you mean? I thought I heard both of you arguing. We are talking, not arguing. Exactly! Yes. And someone like you that we sent to the best university in this country should know the difference between two people talking and two people arguing. Anyway, I'm heading out. I'll see you guys later. It's all right, son. Hey, you, hey, it's, what? What, what? What is all right? Did you just hear what he said? He referred to his parents as you guys. And you saw nothing wrong with that? Dad, I, I am very sorry. Just a mistake. It won't happen again, I promise. Mom, I'll see you guys later. It's okay. Bye. He has gotten used to it. He even said it again. Listen, Damien. He has apologized. Please, don't make a case out of it. Sit him down and warn him. Beautiful princess of Inwagu Kingdom. You always look stunning and glamorous. And I guess this is a new hair. It's beautiful on you. Stanley, are you stalking me? Of course not. Come on, princess. Are you going to punish me forever for just, just an innocent mistake? Innocent mistake? Of course. 
I went down with you and you had the guts to tell my brother about it. And you're calling it an innocent mistake. Come on, princess. It didn't happen just the way you think. Just give me the chance to explain to you all that happened so you can understand. Okay, just, just relax. I'll tell you all that happened that day. Just give me the chance, please, my princess. Where do you think you're going? I already told you where I was going to. And what did I tell you? Mommy, you didn't say anything, so I took that to be a yes. Does it mean you've not heard what is happening in the country now? How some unscrupulous and extremely crooked elements are forcefully collecting ladies' underwears for some form of ritual? <coughs> Mommy, what does that got to do with me? Rituals. I don't have any business with anybody that's into rituals. How is that my business? The same thing with all the innocent girls who had nothing to do with them, yet became victims. Go back inside, and please, don't ask me why. I mean, why are you doing this? I already called Camilla, I told her that I'm coming. Then call her back. Tell her your mother is said you're going nowhere. Cindy, don't get me angry. Mommy, why are you doing this now? Why are you doing this? You're doing this because you know I cannot disobey you. This is not fair. This is not fair. This is not fair. I know I have a bad case here, but you have to forgive me. Listen, princess, I never told your brother I slept with you. I only confirmed the fact that we were together. But then the conclusion of us sleeping together was his. I couldn't have told him such a thing. You have to forgive me, please, my princess. So what exactly do you want from me now? Of course you know what I want. I want you back in my life. I want to have you again. That's because I miss you so much. My princess, you can't throw away all that we shared together just because of the outburst of a drug addict. I beg your pardon. You just called my brother a drug addict. Listen, princess, I, I like to say things the way they are. I don't, I don't like to paint pictures. Your brother is a drug addict and you must accept it. And if you ask me, your brother needs help. He needs rehabilitation. The first help we should give to him is to condemn his use of hard drugs. I'm done with you, Stanley. Highlight from my car now. Are you angry because I told you the truth? To hell with your truth. If you don't highlight from this car right now, you will not like what I will do to you. Okay, it's fine. I'll leave your car. If not that you are sweet, what will I be doing with an immanent girl like you? No good home training. Nonsense. See me, right? You're wondering why I'm here, right? Absolutely. Good. I am here to collect money. What money? I don't understand. Exactly. I am confused here. Father placed you on a 300,000 Naira stipend every month. And on the 15th of every month, you get credited. To the best of my knowledge, you pay no bills. Why are you here asking me for more money? Listen, I am not here for a long conversation. My mission is simple. I am broke. I need money. And when people need money, they go to their brothers. 
Besides, what makes you think that 300,000 Naira will be enough for a heavy spender like me? Uh, heavy spender, right? Mm -hmm. Besides, what makes you think 300,000 will be enough for a heavy spender like Leo? Mm -hmm. So 300,000 Naira is not enough for you. What makes you think you'll walk into this office and get what you want? Does this place look like a bank? Harry, are you mad? What's your problem? I said I am broke. I need 200,000 Naira. Are you giving it to me or not? Stop interrogating me. Are we in a police station? What's your problem? Are you giving me the money or not? You refuse to give me the money. That's why I'm here to get it. Leonard, aren't you ashamed of yourself? Why should I be ashamed of myself? Why? I don't blame you. I blame your mother. Dad, please don't. Don't bring mom into this. Oh, will you shut up, Leonard? Sometimes I doubt if you're truly my son. I give you a hundred million naira business to run. You practically liquidated that company because of your reckless spending. And you're here telling me that 300,000 naira monthly stipend is not enough for you. Are you out of your senses? Now get out of my presence this minute. Get out! So where am I supposed to get the money from? I need money. Go to those animals that sell drugs to you and get some money. Listen, Leonard. If you are not careful of yourself, I will be tempted to hand you over to the authorities. I will. Now get out of my presence. Get out. What is the problem with you, Demia? You are supposed to be a prince in this land. Why are you doing things that could bring royalty to Rideko? You came into my compound to vomit this nonsense you just said now? Please, Ishonyeka. Do not take my lineage for granted. What no. lineage are you talking about? You've just sold a land that belongs to two families. And you're pretending as if you don't know what I'm talking Listen about. Listen to me, Ichonyeka. I did that family a favor by selling that land to the retired general. Because they were on the verge of cleaning themselves because of that same land. Now that the land has been sold, I should be applauded. Please. You should be applauded? Yes. You should be applauded? For doing what exactly? For solving the problem for them. Listen to me, Shionyeka. Those young men in that family were on the verge of cleaning themselves. They were fighting because of that land. I have to sell the land to solve the problem for them. Now that the land has been sold, those idiots in that family who cannot find something to do for themselves instead of fighting for lands, now they will adjust accordingly. Okay? Okay. Where is the money you got from the retired general? The money is with me. Do you have a problem with that? Are you not supposed to release this money to the family? At least to arrest the problem that is brewing. And did anybody tell you that I am afraid of problems? No, did anybody tell you that? Go back to them. Confirm to them that the land has been sold and that the money is with me. Now, if they believe they have what it takes to challenge a man like me, let them come asking me for the money. I am here waiting for them. You won't believe this. They treated me like a piece of shit just because I asked for money. But why would you ask for money? I'm aware that you have a monthly allocation of 300,000 Naira. And what makes you think 300,000 Naira would be enough for a guy like me monthly? Come on, Sharon. Give me some credit. I beg your pardon. What did you just call me? Sharon. How dare you call me by my name? 
What's wrong if I call you by your name? Is Sharon not your name? You are not supposed to be angry because I called you by your name. You know what, Leonard? I am done with this conversation. I want to be left alone. All right. I am not moving an inch until you give me money. And I am not giving you a dime until you learn how to address me properly. Ah. Now I know where you're coming from. I will give it to you. <clears throat> All hail her majesty. Queen Sharon of Enuagu Kingdom. What change the wine of who tears? Or you call number one number of Enuagu Kingdom. My mother, my mother. Peace and person. Queen of all things. The most beautiful queen. Enough already. Before my head will burst open, I'll give you the money. Wow, thank you very much, Mom. In my next world, you will still be my mom. I'll make you a transfer. Oh, Mom, you are the best. You are the sweetest mom. In fact, you are the greatest mom. In fact, you are my mother, my mother. Leo, Leo, the soul. Leo has lost it completely. And if care is not taken, he will one day say one of the valuable things in this palace just to raise money for his drugs. Chuendo, I am bothered from a different angle. What different angle? I am beginning to feel that we are no longer safe working in this palace. I don't know what you mean by that. Has anyone threatened you yet? Must you be threatened to know you are in danger? That drug addict may one day attempt to rape any of us, or even both of us, mainly when he's high on cocaine. Mega, how could you say such? Leo has never looked at me in a way that suggests he's interested in any woman. Because it has not happened already, you now think it will never happen? You and wake up! Wake up! Prince Leo is now a full-blown drug addict and his life is becoming a joke. I am thinking that... Greetings, my friends. I like the smell of the maidens that bear the king's cup. Come to my wing later. I have something in mind for you guys. Thank you, my friends. Are you in any way planning to go to his room? <laughs> he wants to offer us gifts. Are you not going? young man? I should be asking you that question. How could you sell that land? A land that belongs to another family and you're not even ready to give them back their money. How is that your business? No, when did you start questioning the things I do? Or did, did they brief you as their lawyer? It is my business because you're my father and I can't have my father doing some crazy and weird things. Thank God. Thank God you now know I am crazy and weird. Now you have to define your boundaries. Stop interfering in the things I do before I cut you into sizes. You can kill me if you want to. I am sure in your heart you know I am telling you the truth. Dad, you are making too many enemies. They might turn around to hunt me. How do you expect me to just relax and keep quiet? Now listen, let me tell you something you don't know. Men who are determined to make money and become famous, they don't think of morality and uprightness. Because money is what makes the world go round. Those men, they strive to make money. Not all this money, money people are carrying about. I'm talking about money. Money that makes things happen. When such men have made the money, they can then settle down 
and defy morality and uprightness their way. And whatever the vision they give stands. That is what you should be thinking. That kind of money. Now listen to me. Open up your brain and begin to think. Think like someone who possibly came from my loins. Mom, I can see you have elected not to say a word. What is going on? Men are talking. I am a woman. Why should I interfere? Why do I have this feeling that my parents are allergic to pace? Will you stop? Stop! Uh, How could you say a thing like that? No, no, Simbi. Leave him. Let him continue talking, shouting back at me. Because of this moment money that you think he has, he has started to make. What do you even have? This car that you are driving now, I was the one that put it for you. And because you bought the car I'm driving, I should just keep quiet, knowing full well that you're going astray. Oh, you shut up, Doctor. Is it my husband that is going astray? Get out of this place, please. Leave at once! Stella, I am still tolerating this young man because of you. Call him. Sit him down and talk to him before I turn him off. Or kind of give him a man. What do you want? My princess, I just want you and you alone. What she called me to say? Ah, princess. See, I'm going insane. I'm very close to the palace. Please, can you come out? I'd like to see you, please, my princess. I don't get it. You want to see me where? Listen, if you permit me, I'll come to the palace straight away. I really need to see you, my princess. You know what's happening? You are not going insane. You are insane already. Listen, my princess. You are right. I am insane. You can say whatever you want. I am insane. It's fine. But listen, you are the only one who can cure me right now. I really need to see you, my princess. Mr. Insane, I am done. What else can I do to have her back again? She's just the sweetest and she knows. Listen to me, Damien. A man like Ichio Nyeka is not someone you take for granted. Why entangle yourself in a matter that concerns him? My biggest problem with you is that you have continued to undermine me. How? Damien, are you denying that you weren't the one that sold the land to the retired general? Why will I deny it? I was the one that sold the land to the retired general. And that is because I wanted to help the two families. They were on the verge of killing themselves because of that land and I had to sell it off. I should be applauded for what I did. Damien, how much did you collect for the land? How is that your business? I am the one in charge of lands in this kingdom. I have been the one selling all the lands. 
Even when our father was alive, I was selling land right before him, and he never asked me this kind of question. And by that, you are telling me I don't know anything at all. Oh, you man. Okay, okay. Who you go and where, man? Brothers disagreeing again. What's the problem this time? Sonia, there is no problem. We are trying to streamline something. Are you going out? Yes, Dad. I just want to see a friend. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye, Uncle. Bye, Uncle. Do you know where she's going? Why should I bother myself with such details? Sonia is a mature woman. It is natural I leave her to live a life. What's the life? What just happened here now is one of the reasons I keep telling you you don't know a lot of things. Damien, this meeting is not to talk about my personal life. Let us talk about the land that you sold. And the land I sold is my personal business. If we cannot talk about your personal life, then nobody should discuss my personal business. Damien? Anthony? Yes, I'm coming. Aww. It's so good to see you, baby. I'm glad you came. Please sit down. So tell me, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Yes, I'm cool. And of course, this is the happiest day of my life. I'm so glad you came as promised. I was unable to sleep last night. Really? What happened? Lou is losing it. He, he's deeply into drugs and I'm beginning to feel unsafe in my father's house. Listen, baby. I don't think I want to talk about your brother right now. Because the last time I said he was an addict, I remember how you reacted. You got so mad at me and I wouldn't want that to happen again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, my dear. But what happened last night got me worried. Last night? What happened? Can you tell me about it? Okay. Oli. Afo. Ikwo. Ayana no nizunano. Oba golo golo osa guam ashu ema be osi ineme. I am going to be very sincere with you. Okay. You are not going to emerge as king in Enwago Kingdom. How can you say a thing like that to be your character? To the best of my knowledge, there is no man in the entire Olunibu that competes with you when it comes to metaphysical positioning and the repositioning. That is why I'm here. Uh, listen, Ogwevi, I came prepared. I am ready to pay you anything. Just name it, I will pay. From what I see, we are up against the ancient staff of the kings in Enwago Kingdom. The king is your brother, is expected to present his successor to the body of kingmakers for approval. That is why I'm here. I don't just want him to present me. No. I want him to come up with something that will make it possible that when he finally presents me to the body of kingmakers, all the men in that body will say an elaborate yes to my candidacy. It boils down to this. To what I said already. The king will not present you 
I see him presenting another. Even if he presents you, I see all the decision makers rejecting you. Uh, uh, uh. They see you as an evil man that will sell their kingdom if given the mantle of leadership. Uh, uh, uh. Don't worry about that. We will find a way around it when the time comes. What I want now is for you to look, consult deeper. There must be another way for us to maneuver this many castle. Eh? Look, as I said, I am prepared to pay anything. There must be another way, that's why I'm here. It occurred to what I was one. Would you get a job and bag and a bag and banabo? Oh, could see me. Can you do it? Can I do what? Can you share a woman with your son? What? I mean, can you compose yourself and go into a woman that your son will present as his? Really? Why would you want me to do anything like that? Yeah? And I never cared. That remains the only way you can start neutralizing the powers of the staff of the cakes. Get that woman that belongs to your son and make sure you conquer her with your manhood. But baby, think about it. Don't you think it's right to tell your father about this? Oh, I don't know how that will sound. He may deny it and my father will think I made it up. Are you serious? Like, why would your father think you cooked up such a story? Just think about it. The fact that he's already nursing the, the thought of, of doing something with you. That's dangerous already and something should be done about it. Don't you think? I know. Thanks for your concern. I'm really sorry I bothered you with this. It's fine. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Are you sure? Yes. Anyway, I know what to do. I'll fix it. Okay. I'm going to miss you again. I'll miss you too. Mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> My brother is something else. A core drug addict. And the worst of it all is my mother is always in support. I understand your pain, my man. But I insist you should not break down because of Liu. He's not worth it at all. I am concerned about my brother. I believe he will definitely change someday. Someday? Yes. When will that day come? Someone who has refused to attend rehabilitation class. Wait. I thought we agreed the last time that he will be locked up in one of the rooms in the palace so as to dry up the desire of the drugs from his vein. So what then happened? We did, but my mother let him out. I don't even know why my mother is handling these things like this when she understands the dangers of banned substances. Don't worry, bro. Everything will be fine again. That I believe. This people wants me to divorce uh, this shit. <clears throat> but trust me, that's not gonna happen. This is my baby girl for life. <coughs> Don't mind them. They are suffering from ignorance. Bunch of ignoramuses. <laughs> that's what they are. 
That's right. All right. You see that my brother Henry, I will deal with him. How will you do that? I don't know, but trust me, I will surely deal with him. I support you, bro. I support you big time. Who is this? I'm so disappointed in you. How could you lost after your own sister? Are you stupid? Who is this? I am Stanley, your sister's boyfriend. She just told me how you almost raped her last night. <coughs> Listen, you bloody gold digger. I've warned you to stay off Sonia. She is not your class. Leave her alone. Hi. Oh my God. You are, you, you are shameless. You are so shameless. Listen, let me warn you for the last time. If you don't stay away from my woman, I will deal with you. I know other guys are scared of you, but listen, I am not one of them. I will mess you up. You think it's to be taking all those nonsense, all in the name of, of, of hard drugs? I will, I will so mess you up in this town. Nonsense. Hello? Thunder! Listen! Hello? Hello? Who is this fool to threaten me? Who is here to threaten me? Huh? I am bothered about something different. Which is? You want to make love to your sister? Could this be why you are blocking me from meeting Sonia? You are mad. Like seriously, you are mad. Who are you to get down with Sonia? Oh. You are the one good enough to get down with her. Don't get me angry. You are really silly. Sorry? I'm silly. Listen, 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 I will disfigure your face. Sometimes will I tell you that Leo, the one that has human sympathy, is the one you should call brother. Henry is a miserable capitalist whose interest is just in piling up money. You cannot call a stone-hearted man your brother. But he's still my brother. I agree with you that Henry is not the best when it comes to releasing money. But he's doing that for the family. Mom, I feel it's uncharitable for you to refer to him as stone-hearted just because he doesn't want to throw around the family's money. Well, Sonia, I did not call you here to discuss that fool. So why did you call me? If it's about you, I'm not interested. I will just leave you here and go back to my room. Why do I have this feeling that you like Henry more than Leo? And why do I have this feeling that you love Leo more than Henry? You dare ask me a question when you have not even answered mine? Mom, please. Please, Mom. You know, you don't like talking about Henry just as I don't like talking about Leo. So please, Mom, if it's about Leo, you called me here. I'm not interested. Good day. Look at this girl. Oh. Why is she so useless? She did not even allow me open the topic. Hi. Why must he interfere in my business? Why? Do you remember that he is your king? You see, other people may elect to look down on the king. You, his brother, should never do a thing like that. And unfortunately, nobody looks down on the king. Yes. 
He is the one that holds the sacred staff of the kings. And we know that obedience to the king comes with blessings. It's exactly. You see, anyone who practically worships the king stands the chance of sitting with kings. Yes. And even becoming a king listen, someday. Listen. I am not going to worship Anthony. I have been the one teaching him the do's and don'ts of royalty. Yes. I was the one that taught him how to sanctify with the staff. He does not know I was the one that taught him. Yes. Anthony should be the one worshipping me. Mm -mm. Demian, dear, you miss it. He cannot worship you, for he is the custodian of the staff. And as he stands, he is the head of this kingdom. And, and because he is the head of this kingdom by your interpretation, he will not start to interfere in my business. Who is Anthony? When our father was alive, I was already selling lands here in this kingdom. And he never challenged me. No, who is Anthony to begin to challenge me now? Damien, it is true. Your father never challenged you while he was alive. But Damien, do you understand? I mean, are you aware that a greater percentage of people in this land are not happy with you? And did you read it anywhere that I am happy with them? Listen to me. We live in a free world. People are free to like or hate anyone. It is not my business. They don't like me. They don't feel happy with me. I equally don't like them. Now, if this is the reason for this meeting, please, I just ended it. This meeting has ended. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. But Damien, 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 Damien. You know deep down in your heart that we are telling you the truth. And now, but I'm telling you here and now that I don't want to hear that truth. Why is it difficult for you to understand? Hello, man. Hey! My parents are piling pressure on me to present the woman in my life. And I'm thinking of taking you home in oh. the next couple of days. Wow. <laughs> That's so sweet. So tell me, what are we going? Soon. You see, I'm going to surprise my mother with your visit. Because I actually told her that I wasn't thinking of any woman yet. Really? I understood from what she said that my dad is also interested in it. Okay, so tell me, <clears throat> are you having issues with your dad? Mm. Not actually a problem. But my dad seizes every opportunity to remind me that he made me. So I want to prove to him that I can make it in life without him. Come on, baby. You, if you will listen to me, it's not good having issues with your dad, okay? It's not. Let that be my headache, Vivian. Okay. Baby, there's a birthday party I want to attend with you. A birthday party? Yes. A friend of mine. So, um, do I know him? No, you don't. I have so many friends. That is why I want you to know them all, so that they will toast you whenever they see you. <laughs> Stop! Stop it, you're funny. Toast words. Stop, please. Well, Nobody's that, toasting me. But well, you know that is the truth. And then we for any possible assistance in case they see you somewhere and you need help. Wow, that sounds so romantic. And okay. you know you have a romantic way of saying that. You can say that again. So what do you say? Are you cool with the Ivy? Absolutely. Who would not be? That's I'm gay. Maybe. That's you know, I like fun. <laughs> so tell me, what do you care for? One of the reasons mom is angry with Harry is because of his thrifty way of managing money. And you really think I would like to discuss that? Listen, I just received the audited accounts of the companies yesterday. And sincerely, I feel like buying Henry another brand new car. Why? Henry has turned the fortunes of the company around. Banks are following up on what it does. For the first time in a long while, they've written to me offering us loans, which Henry is not even willing to take. So 
So your conclusion is that he's doing well? Exactly. And I want you to support him, Sonia. Do not join your mother in giving him problems. If there is anything you need, go to him as your elder brother. And I am sure he will attend to you. Come in. Who is that? What today? Work was fine. Mm. Uh, yeah. That's nice. I thought you were pulling my legs. I never knew you would make it. But you know me, I'm a very serious person. Once I tell you I'm coming, I'm definitely coming. And that is why I love you. My one and only. <laughs> Anytime you call me that, you just throw me off balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> work was fine. I decided to see the love of my life before heading back to the palace. Thank you. That reminds me, I saw your brother the other day, Leo. He and his friends were beating up one man outside in Nicholas Mall. Why? What could be his reason? I mean, what did the man do? I wouldn't know. I did not go to verify. It was a sordid sight, honey. I can imagine the pathetic picture of a prince beating up a man with, of course, his gang of drug addicts. My love, you need to speak to your brother. He's gradually losing his mind. But you know I have been trying. I have been talking to my brother. It's just that he feels everyone is insane. My love, please, try harder, OK? Let me get you something to eat. Uh, uh, it's, don't, don't worry. I. I'll just do that when I get home, okay? Okay. Bye. Ah. Love you. I love you too. Alright. Be safe. Yeah, I will. Can I say? I will. Was he alone when he came with his gang? I don't know. It's possible he came with other people, but he was the only one I saw. Besides, he was the only one who confronted me, so I didn't see any other person. This is becoming embarrassing. And my main problem is that my mom will see nothing wrong in this. But what about your dad? Can't you talk to him about this? Dad is aware. That's why he fired him from his firm. He was on the verge of liquidating the firm. But, but what about your elder brother? He hasn't said anything about all this. I mean, does he not see the embarrassment Prince Liu is bringing upon your family? Talk to him. Prince Harry is tired. He has not been given the cooperation he needs to succeed. I don't know what to do. I don't. Listen, my love. But at this point, I think I should do as he said. Maybe I should make him my friend and see if I can change him from, from within. No. You won't do that. Leo is my brother. I am in a position to tell you that he's a bad influence. I haven't told you he's been sleeping with one of the girls that serve in the palace. You're not serious, are you? I mean, that's absurd. <laughs> How would you do such? It is for you to know the kind of person you want to make your friend. Your brother is terrible. I won't allow that to happen. There should be another way out to solve this problem. Wait for Kalabu. I have not come here for us to start to negotiate. No. I came prepared. What I have in this briefcase is one million naira cash. That money is enough to buy what I want. Because money answered all things. Actually, that is my best verse in the Bible. This money here is yours. In fact, the briefcase is equally yours. I want you to get busy. Send the breeze of death to our palace in Inuago. I want my brother Anthony dead now. 
But the said Anthony may not know the powers he wields. Exactly. He does not know anything. I have been the one guiding him. He came back from New Jersey right at the verge of the time I was about to become king and bribed his way to the throne. I have been tolerating him all this while. I am sick and tired of tolerating him. I don't want to tolerate him again. I want him dead. Unfortunately, you cannot terminate the life of anyone that is with the staff of the kings. I've already told you what to do. Why haven't you done it? I have not done it because my said son is more committed to challenging me. He has no woman anywhere for us to even cheer. Don't you understand what I'm saying? The idiot has no woman. So who are we going to share? Then, marry a woman in his name and impose her on him. The truth is that you and your son must go into the same woman. Before you stand the chance of neutralizing the powers of the staff of the kings. He's my friend. Nice. You look nice. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Oh, Dad. You're back. Douglas, how are you? I'm good, sir. So that I'm ready. Okay. Shall we? Sure. Dad, I'll see you soon. No problem. Men come back to their houses to eat something nice and rest. Why can't I do so in my house? Why? You still haven't answered my question. What question, please? Damien, why were you staring at your son's girlfriend in that manner? What manner? What are you insinuating, woman? What? Are you denying it? Enough! Enough, woman! Don't provoke me. What does it are you asking me? What is this? Now what is going on here? Are you not supposed to be in the kitchen preparing what I'm going to eat? And you're standing here asking me nonsense? Damien, swear on your life that you weren't lost after that innocent girl. I should swear. What? Oh, Damien. I should swear. Why are you this pathetic? You are the one that is pathetic. You know, I know what you're planning. You want to provoke me to the extent that I will slap you. And for you not to go in there and cook what I will eat. Don't worry, I'm not going to slap you. Because you will go in there and cook what I will eat. No sense. Stand here and keep looking for who is pathetic. Damien, are you walking out on me? I know it! I know you have to tell the truth. Come back here. You will hear it, Damien. Come back here. Come back here. Where is it? Where is that criminal? Where is it? Sorry, my prince. Who are you talking about? What is going on here? Mom. Thank God you're here. What is it? Leo went into my room and took a thousand dollars. How are you sure he was the one that took Mom, you know he's the only criminal we have in this Will place. Will you shut up? Mom. I said shut up. <clears throat> here he is. Where is my one thousand dollars you took from my room? Son, did you remove money from his room? Um, Sharon, sorry, Mom. I... I take what I need, and I owe no one any explanation or apology. Did you hear that, Mom? Did you hear that? Listen, I took the money because I'm entitled to it. And you and Dad are becoming very selfish and annoying. Excuse me. 
Did you give me my money? What do you want to do? You want to fight your brother in the presence of these palace mates? Is it not before the same palace mates that he agreed that he's a thief? Listen, I am not a thief. Ah. I took what rightfully belongs to me. And don't forget, it's not your money. So you have no right to question me. You will give me my money. Mom, relax, I'm coming, let me beat him. Have you forgotten I have single bone? Come. I will beat you like a baby. Come. I feel come here. I'm really disappointed, Mom. Your son has become a thief and you're not even bothered. Mm -hmm. Sonia, please, mind your choice of words. My son is not a thief. They conspired and denied him of his rights, which he wants to take back. Why are you giving it their interpretation? There is no such thing like their interpretation, Mom. Leo sneaked into Henry's room and stole his money. Please, stop calling any money Henry's money. Henry does not have anything in this family. Stop getting me angry, please. Seriously, Mom, you are beginning to confuse me so much. Henry is the first son in this family. He's the one that has been managing the family businesses. For he's the one in charge, and he's the one that pays us all. Why would you say he doesn't own anything? Why must he be the one in charge? Okay, agreed. Leo is a bit unstable because of his addiction. But what about you? Why are you not in the business? I am not in the business because I want to own my own fashion line. Henry has asked me to join him, and I refused. Mom. Why are you supporting Liu? Why? <clears throat> I can see you are senseless. Yes. <clears throat> I wanted to give you $200 from that money. But because of what you said, you won't get a dime. Even if I need a thousand dollars, I will ask dad or brother Henry and they will give it to me. I don't need your stolen money. Um, stolen what? Um, no, no, no! Son, you are not going to What was that? Were you actually going to beat your sister? Are you not disappointed that she left without a slap? Or she needs it more? Um. Douglas, you don't understand. Liu is just a bone in my neck. I do understand. He is also my brother, and I know him too well. But just like your father told you, forget it. You are bigger than that money. And that's not the reason he would have it. All Liu knows how to do is drink, smoke, take hard drugs, and then visit Pastor Cabin to patronize his high-class sex workers. Is that not madness? You will be shocked that $1,000 will not last a week in his hands. It is all right, my brother. Please, take it easy. All others might castigate and abandon him, but we should be seen as the ones defending him, for we are family. Please, let it go, all right? Look at how easy it is for you to say, Douglas, because it is not your money. I am equally certain that you will not join others in taking a brother to the cleaner just because he took a thousand dollars. Harry, please, forget this thing and move on. You mean to tell me you left your house or place of work just to tell me what you just said? Chief Matthew, are, are you this jobless? I do not mean to offend you, my king. I went to Oze Bonoba, the Dikan of Ogunaiwan of Abami Kingdom, to ask questions about me and my family, rather than tell me about me and my family. He started talking about you and your family. Uh, listen, I don't have any business with Abomimi, and I don't want this meeting to continue. A king of your pedigree 
should not dismiss a seer as mighty as Ozo Ebonaba. I am a new Jesse trained accountant. And I have no business with what anybody sees. Apart from Leo who has decided to make himself useless with banned substances, I have a very stable family. And I would not want anybody to say anything stupid about my family. Your Majesty, it will not cost you anything to drive down to Abomey Kingdom and see the man. Uh, Mr. Paul, I am done with the meeting that was delaying me. We can now talk. Daddy, I am surprised you're asking me all these questions. I don't know this woman. I did not even see her. I feel the best person you should ask is Douglas. He brought her here, not me. You are sounding as if you don't know your brother. If I should ask him to say anything about that woman, he will not say anything serious. Listen, don't give me that face. There is nothing wrong in a man desiring to run a bank grand shake on the woman that will most likely be his daughter-in-law. Just, just to run a bank grand shake on her, that's all. Okay, um, now I understand. Like I said before, Daddy, I did not see her. I don't even know her. When Douglas comes, don't worry, I'll ask him. At least, I'll, okay, I'll ask him for her phone number. Is that okay? Good. If, if I can get her phone number, then I am good. <laughs> Cindy, Cindy. <laughs> Leo, where is my key? Why are you acting like you're not the one I'm talking to? I kept my key there and I cannot find it. Where have you kept it? I kept it where you will never set your eyes on it until you give me the money I asked for. You want me to give you more money? Leo, are, are you telling me that you, 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 you finished spending the $1,000 you stole from me? You want me to give you more money? Oh, I see. So you have now devised a new crooked means of getting money from me. <clears throat> hey, what's your problem? I don't get it. I mean, you should be grateful that you have a brother that is only bent on making himself happy. Learn to give me money each time I ask, and we will be best of friends. Besides, it's, it's not even your money. It's our father's money, so what's the biggie? Nobody will continue to give you money that way in this family, for we know what to do with money. Who called? I will, I will pull your wig. I will pull your wig. Who called you here? If you don't want to end up in prison, let this be the last time you make attempt to lay your hands on our sister. Ha! Our sister. Like she's my enemy. Oh, you want her to feel you love her more, right? I have not come to exchange words with you. Let me have my car key. You will never set your eyes on that key until you give me the money I asked for. Here is your car key. I found it where you hid it. So you've been searching through my things. You did what? Get back. Hey, what is wrong with you? Ozo Ebonu Oba. Dika na kbo gunanya of abomeme. What about him? I know him very well. Good. From what you know about him, is it someone that could abandon what he is asked to do and begin to see other people? Why have you refused to do the right thing? I don't know what you mean by that. What is the right thing that I'm not doing? And when it comes to our custom, our tradition, the ordinances handed down by our fathers. Anthony, you don't know anything. You rely on me for practically everything. Look at a man as elevated as also a new back. You don't even know him, and you are parading yourself as king. Damien, what exactly is the basis of your argument? What? Okay. If you hand over the staff of the kings to me, 
For me to continue reigning as king in this kingdom from where you stopped, will you die before your time? Damien, could this be the rubbish you've been thinking? It's not rubbish. Damien, how is that even possible? It is very possible. You are the one who sees it as an impossibility, but it is very possible. Just call the elders in council, the body of kingmakers. Tell them that you have realized you don't know anything as a king. That you want to hand over to your brother who knows it all. You have realized that you are leading us astray as a king. That your brother is the one that will lead us in the right direction because he knows it all. And then I am going to turn this kingdom around. For good, you will be happier for it. Why are you not thinking about it? If you do it, Anthony, will you die before your time? Damien, your desperation will not take you anywhere. My desperation will not take me anywhere. Because this idiot is calling me desperate. Well, this is only one of the options. We will continue to explore all the options available. What is wrong with you? Are you okay? Are you okay at all? I'm fine. I just wanted to test it and be sure they are original ones now. You know we have so many fake boobs and acts everywhere. Nice one, original, no silicone. This is really nice. What is going on here? He, he just came from nowhere and touched my boobs and my ass. You did what? What? What is what? What? Uh, relax. For once, I'm impressed. You got this one right. I just, you know, let me see if, if they are real. We have fake things everywhere. And to my greatest surprise, they are all real. The boobs, real. The ass, real. You got this one. Are you mad? You got this one. I'm asking you a question. Are you mad? What is, are you mad? You're supposed to be grateful thanking me because I examined her. Okay, do you know how much doctors collect to check if the boobs are real? I did it for you now, free of charge. Will, will, you, will you shut up, you? So you put this drug stain hands on, 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 on my woman? Relax. Is she not our wife? She's our wife. If you die now, Nkuchieye. So it's our wife. Relax. I just helped you check something. You've got a nice place here. Thank you, sir. You know, I know exactly what is running through that head of yours. First of all, you are wondering how did he get my address? And then you wonder, what is he doing in my house? Two of us. You're right. Please, can we be seated? Please. You see, one thing about me that has endeared me to all is that I say things exactly the way they are. You know, one advantage is that it solves a lot of problems for me. You're right. On the strength of that, I am going to tell you right away that you are an amazing beauty. 
and you are qualified. I mean, you have all it takes to be around a man like me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, what can I offer you? Don't worry about what you can offer me, my dear. In my nature, I go straight to the point. I am just praying that you are not going to misunderstand me. I still don't understand you, sir. Well, I am going to be very direct. As I said, I am hoping you wouldn't misunderstand me. I, I want to experience the woman in you. What? Is that coming from you? My dear, don't feel offended. But sex is business. It has become so big a business that in some other parts of the world, different categories of licenses are given to different categories of commercial sex workers. You understand what I mean? I'm sorry, sir, but why are you telling me all this? I am telling you because I, I believe you have all it takes for a woman to make all the money she needs. You have to understand that for a man like me to come here telling you this simply means I have given it a thought. And I have come to the conclusion that it is something we can do together. It is something that is going to be between you and I. Nobody will know about it. Okay? I am going to teach you how you are going to make a lot of money with what God has given you. It is all about money. You are going to make a whole lot of money with this. But it has to start with me. So I want to ask you, how much should I pay for a start? With due respect, sir, I'm going out with your son. You shouldn't be telling me all this. Unfortunately, I am telling you already. And for me to be telling you simply means it is something we can do. They call it shop and clean mouth. You go talk to anybody, you will not. Needless to tell you that I am the head of the mafia that sits right on top of all the land deals in this kingdom. I am a man sitting on a mountain of money. And we are talking of real money. I am not just going to solve your personal problems. I am equally going to solve your family problems. The only thing I require of you is to open it up so that we can get serious with this deal. And trust me, my dear, you will smile to the banks. I swear on my life, my friend. He was the one who started it. He will come into his room. And once I come in, he will push me into his bed. And you never mentioned it to anyone? Are you this useless? I am sorry, Your Majesty. I didn't want to report the prince. I was afraid that he might get angry. For how long have you been doing this? Since he was stopped from managing the company, my queen. This is unbelievable. You mean you've been sleeping with my son for seven months now? No, Your Majesty. I never tried to seduce him. He has been the one sleeping with me. What is going on here? Sonia, can you believe that this loose maiden has been sleeping with Lou for seven months now? Is that why she's standing here in judgment? I beg your pardon? Where is the food that lured her into it? Is that all you have to say? I'm sorry, mother. But I will not allow a woman to suffer for a crime she committed with a man. Leo has no right to sleep with a maiden that bears the cup of the king. He knows they cannot resist him. If there should be any punishment, 
Leo should be the one getting it. Not this helpless maiden. Get out. What? Are you out of the mind? Sonia! You just dismissed a maiden while I am still talking to her? How dare you? That useless son of yours that calls himself my brother had actually made passes at me. No. I want you to repeat what you just said. You heard me right, mother. Leo is very sick. He should be the one we should be dealing with, not this helpless maiden that is doing everything possible to keep a job. Very good, my son. This is brilliant. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Father. I am so proud of you. <laughs> oh, Father. I am more proud to have you as my father. How oh, I wish your brother is as sane as you are. I have been thinking about that too, Father. I have come to see reasons with Mom. Leo will not be this useless forever. I believe someday he will change. You think so? Hope is all we've got. I doubt it. Father, I don't need you to bother yourself. We have a technical business we need to pull through. We need all the concentration we can monster. You are right, my son. Thank you. Father, I will call the accounts officer before the end of business today. There is need to dismantle the fixed deposit. Calculate and withdraw the interest, then fix the principal again. You are in charge, my son. Decide what is good for the company and pursue it. Thank you very much, Father. You're welcome. Yeah. I'll see you before the end of today. All right. Thank you. I know why you're possibly doing this. Maybe because you believe that if you resist him, you will lose your job. That's not true. Leo cannot influence any decision in this palace. You have to start resisting him now, else you will lose that same job you are trying to keep. Thank you very much, my princess. I appreciate your kind words. Just that I don't know what to do. You don't know how to resist a fool that has been taking advantage of you? <laughs> Please, Chimwendu, don't tell me. Well, that is the truth. I am just a maid here. Leo is a prince. I don't know how to resist a prince. Why do I feel you are enjoying this? Why? I am not enjoying it. Just can't resist him either. Please, can you help me talk to the king? Tell him what? That he should issue a royal order preventing the prince from asking me to come to his room. You are just a fool. Shut up, my dear. You know, it is amazing how you have exhibited this level of maturity and expertise. I am so impressed and I'm not disappointed at all. Thank <laughs> you, sir. Now it's time for the real transaction. As a digital man, I am going to handle it the digital way. Hmm? You will like it. 
I say what I want to do and I do what I say. <laughs> Wow. Ah! Thank you, sir. Thank you. Five hundred thousand naira. Thank you. That is just a little, my dear. That is just more will come. You know, you kid me when you said I should give you whatever that I like. Girls with your kind of spirit will always get the best from men like me. You, Thank you. You turn us to pay masters instantly. <laughs> More of it will just fall on you, continue to fall on you as long as you continue allowing me access to that sweet, beautiful cake of yours. Thank <laughs> you. I have to believe it now, but let me let me tell you something I believe you know. This is our little secret. Nobody hears it. Whatever that happens behind closed doors must remain behind closed doors. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Thank you exactly for what you did. I will continue to come. Thank you, I sir. I will continue to come. And you will continue to smile. <laughs> come on, look, you know, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. Ah! 500,000 naira. No wonder girls go for sugar daddies. They surely know how to pay away. Well. Who is there? Hey, baby. Oh, Hi, Dwayne. How are you? I'm fine. What was my father doing here? Your father? Yes. I don't get it. I saw him driving out. What would your dad be doing here? Besides, he doesn't even know here. I thought about that. Come on, babe. Maybe you saw his kind of car. Vivian, I know what I saw. It is his car. And he was driving out when I was driving in. In fact, I parked at the same spot that he parked. Uh, I don't know, but you know, so many people live in this compound. Maybe he went somewhere else. I've been home all day. Your dad did not come here. Anyway, let's forget about that. So, how are you doing? Come I'm on. fine, baby. I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> what have you been doing all day? I don't know. I've been at some orchard. I have done exactly what you instructed. I was able to locate the woman that my son has been going into. And I can confirm to you authoritatively that I've equally gone into her. Can the process start now? Okay, it's a good one. 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 Has not gone into that woman in the real sense of the word. Are you serious? Hey! Does it mean I have a useless man as a son? You mean he has been parading that babe as his woman and he has not experienced the woman in her? Can we carry with him, Mother Diva? It has been experiencing the woman in her, if I should go by your word. But he has been using condom. It, uh... His fluid has not mixed with hers. Can you imagine she got that? Yes. As it is, that woman is yours. How? 
because you first went into that woman before your son. So you must do everything possible to make him do the same. Hey! Hey! As a man, as a man who controls supernatural powers from the four cardinal points, I know you can advise me. What should I do to solve this problem? I don't know. Can I? I no longer want to discuss the staff of the kings. That staff can do a lot of things. And I don't want to be caught in the middle. What sort of question is that? It is a simple question that were you at Vivian's place? Stella, can you hear the useless question this useless sort of yours is asking me? Can you hear that? But Saul, you still haven't told me why you were asking. I saw a car that looks exactly like that car. Driving off the gate just the moment I was driving in. So because you saw a car that looks like my car, you stupidly concluded the most to me? What? Does it mean his brain is touched with, with sand? Oh, I'm so, so. I, is, that, is that correct? Um, okay, Damien. Were you in any way around her vicinity during the day? What? Stella, what nonsense! No, what are both of you implying? That I'm going to see Vivian in her place? For what? Do you know Vivian? Do you know her place? Have I been there before? What are you asking me? Let this be the very last time you will call me out to ask me this nonsense. Both of you. Be very, very careful. What insult is this? Don't provoke me, both of you. More. The car I saw is that car. I can bet my money on that. Please, pay me off the tails. You don't know anything. Listen, you better don't try this outside. Accuse anyone when you're not sure. Some guys will take you to another level entirely. I brought you here for a purpose. Not something elaborate. Oftentimes I wonder what my life would have been without you. Baby, <laughs> without you, life would have been incomplete. Huh. I look backwards in time and I recall the memorable moments you and I have shared together. Don't flatter me. I don't deserve you. I don't deserve a perfect gentleman like you. Thank you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being there for me. And thank you for being an outstanding friend. woman in the world at the moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you so much. I should be the one thanking you for making me the envy of all men. Is it possible for me to become the next king, Mr. Afghan Brother? 
Why am I the one you are asking this? Why do you need to ask your father or your father? Come on. My father can't even bless a coat not. He knows nothing. Even this fool, this drug addict, knows his father doesn't know anything. 